the southern plateau. Let us explore. They are called plateaus. Plateaus are the landforms that are flat highlands, higher than the surroundings. As they resemble a table, they are also called tablelands. Location and Extent Southern Plateau of India lies to the south of the Great Plains of Northern India. This is surrounded by water on all the three sides. It is also called the Great Plateau of Peninsular India. The plateau has several hill ranges with the Aravali Range in the northwest, the Rajmahal Range in the northeast, the Eastern Ghats in and the Western Ghats in the west. River Narmada divides the southern plateau into two parts, the Central Highlands in the north and the Deccan Plateau in the south. The Eastern Ghats and the Western Ghats meet at the Nilgiri Hills. Central Highlands The Central Highlands consists of the Malwa Plateau in the northwest and the Chota Nagpur Plateau in the northeast. The Malwa Plateau is surrounded by the Aravali Hills in the northwest and the Vindhyas in the south. Rivers like the Jambal, Betwa, and Son flow northwards and join the river Yamuna. Rivers Narmada and Tapi begin at Vindhya Hills and flow westwards into the Arabian Sea. They cover parts of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Chota Nagpur Plateau includes the states of Jharkhand and parts of Odisha, Bihar and Chhattisgarh. This region is rich in minerals like coal, iron ore, manganese, mica and bauxite. The Bokaro and Bhilai steel plants are located here. Panna in Madhya Pradesh is famous for diamond mines. Deccan Plateau The Deccan Plateau extends from the Satpura Hills in the north to Kanyakumari. The Deccan Plateau is flanked by Western Ghats in the west and Eastern Ghats in the east. The Sayadri, the Nilgiri, the Anai Malai and the Cardamom Hills form the Western Ghats. The Eastern Ghats are made of a smaller ranges of hills. This region is also rich in minerals. The states that are located in Deccan Plateau are Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Kular gold mines of Karnataka are located here. Rivers Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri are the important rivers in the Deccan Plateau. They flow from west to east to flow into the Bay of Bengal. Narmada and Tapi flow from east to west and drain into the Arabian Sea. Rivers in the Deccan Plateau are called seasonal rivers. Udagamandalam, also known as Uti, is the most famous hill station in southern India. Jog Falls, one of the highest waterfalls in India, is located on the Sharavati River in Karnataka. Dams built on these rivers help to store water for irrigation and generate electricity. Example, Nagarjuna Sagar Dam built on the Krishna River. Deltas of rivers like Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri are very fertile and are good for rice cultivation. Black soil in this region is suitable for the cultivation of cotton and sugar cane.